let's apply it to where it belongs. All right, let's type in, let's start going. Mod, link, takes a transform. That's the transform being passed in. Now, can mod, we need to define a function that describes when our tra our we can perform our do mod call. So in this case, we, we want to say this, this perform do mod when the links at that index equals the transform that's being passed in. So in this case if they are the same if the link is this transform we're going to remove remove it from the array. Mind you we're not removing the index from the array we're just setting the value at place to null so we can use that place later next call we're asking for is a do mod what do you do when this is true well we want to okay so that's our index and that's our transform do mod takes the index and the transform do mod index transform and we're going to check and we're going to set excuse me our links at that index to the transform that's passed in next statement mod trans what, what do we set it to well in this case it's to remove it so it'll be null. And last but not least our else mod. What do we do in case we finally get to the end of this? Well we're going to remove from our links at that index that transform. Oh I'm sorry we're gonna yes we're gonna remove it at that index. So this this should work. Remove takes uh, an item. So this is our transform that we're passing in. Let's call it TR as above. And we're going to remove it. So here we have a neat little four lines of code replacing an understandable loop. So now on to the add. This one's just as easy. My old favorite copy and paste. So how how is the add checked? The add will check to see if this is null. If the links is null. then we want to set it to the transform that's coming in and we want to add it if all else fails and add is a method that takes a transform our else mod is a method that takes a transform that can be passed in directly whereas remove gives back a value so it does not adhere to the delegate that's required for our last parameter. So I, I created an inline lambda to represent the delegate. Okay. So now that that's done, here's another let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lines. And we replace it with a nifty four. Cool. On to some more duplicates. Actually, <laughs> might be wise to test. I don't want to go in too deep and then not know where the mistake was made.
All right. So I expect everything to perform as usual. Yeah. Now let's uh, watch this thing spawn a few of our link items. That's right, so a recycler. Science on a bullet. Alright, let's make a move. <coughs> Alright, everything's as expected. Now to continue on. Advanced state. So here we have two functions advance and retreat. First statement check to see if it's already set to that value. If it is, return. If not, set it. Set the last state. Make it set to the same value. So, returns nothing. We can take a move state here. And this is the new state that we want to set it to. So now, if move state equals to the new state, then we return. Else, we set the state, set our last move state, and we set our current move state to the new state. That had to have been <laughs> the simplest one. We set our state to retreat, and we can set our state to advance. Now, if what I just did there doesn't give you an appreciation for refactoring your code, nothing will. Now, this can be called anywhere. It can be used. I can set my state to any one of the above. And I never had to write this function, have to write this function again. Refactor your code. To keep it clean and neat. You need to read it. You need to understand it. Now we have change direction. I'm not even going to try to say what I'm going to do here because I cannot pronounce the word. So we're just going, I'm just going to check. So if my last state equals left, then I would like to set my last state to right. My move state to right excuse me, else I would like to set my move state to left. Don't think I need to set it to none. That's it. Before, after. You know, I would jump on a weight loss program like that. Okay, what's next? I never like seeing switch statements in my in my code. No. Th then what? I come in here and I add another one and I add another one. And then this gets really nice and pretty. And if I have 12 move states, what what happens to the code? <laughs> I have to pull this function out by itself into a whole new file just just to understand what's going on. So, more lambdas Yes, more lambdas. A dictionary of lambdas in this case. So in line, we can start. I'd like a dictionary of move states that contains actions that take a float.
Oh, gotta close that angle bracket on. And we can just call this state actions or something of the like. Any anything that makes sense. Oh, please, anything that makes sense. That will be a new dictionary. So I have one, two, three, four, five states that I'm checking. Even though there's no actual action, the state must be checked and the key must be present in the dictionary. So dictionaries, you can create a key pair as such. So my first state I will be checking against will be none. And what happens when we're in the none state? Well, we tell it. This is what we do in the event that we're in the none state. We do nothing. But this requires a float. Does not take zero arguments. Okay. Yeah, it's still, yeah. <laughs> so when we're in the none state, we're gonna do nothing. Keep it neat and clean. Next state. When we're in the advanced state, what action do we want to perform? Well, that's given to us here. We're, we want to advance the state. Next step. Negative. Next step, positive one. So I leave that in there so I have no way to put it. So this is what we do in the event. Uh, next step, we're passing in a step, not a state. We can call a parameter anything we want. Right. Makes sense to keep it the same. That way I don't have to change the code over and over again everywhere I apply this these calls so on advanced state we'll be advancing at in that direction retreat state negative direction we just keep applying these states all the way down until we have them all filled out in the left state and here we do something different do a side move. Again we just copy the entire function on the left state and then put it in place. And for the right state. It's a lot of code man, don't want to mess it up. Just grab it all. Now we have a key pair value dictionary that contains all our states, which we can easily use here without all the extra code. So we will be invoking next step on all the function, all the methods that apply to this move state key value. So this can be removed. Let's do another count. Yay for refactoring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen lines. We can count that one. That's five, six, seven, eight lines. Eighteen to eight. Double. As I scan here, that's all the duplicate code that I can see that applies to this class. So here we created a dictionary of lambda expressions that references the calls we need and the state that we need to make those calls in. And we call our dictionary, and we invoke the function 
method at that step. And now let's check the behavior and make sure it stays the same. So as Unity compiles the code, we wait. My head should pass the line, go up, advance at a distance specified here, then change direction. Same state behavior. I can also control by clicking the mouse. Alright, now we have the same behavior, a lot less code, cleaner much easier to understand and easier to change speaking of which this needs to be a call um, so a field in at the class level doesn't need to be but I prefer it if it was and I can set it on a Because this method can be restarted multiple times. Okay, uh, this can be called from within here. Alright. So that's it. That's completely refactored. And it's good to go. So we've covered lambda expressions. How to create functions and methods that use those lambda expressions as parameters. And applied those in a real life setting. In this tutorial, we refactored existing code, and in some instances, used Lambda Expressions. Brought to you by Calo Creation. Don't forget to follow us on your favorite social media, visit our website, and quals. Thank you.